your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chad Crilly. So far here in the Wiregrass, we have had a hot and dry week. The hot part of the forecast is not changing this weekend. In fact, it looks like temperatures might actually get warmer on Saturday and Sunday than what we've experienced so far today. Scattered showers and thunderstorms also possible, particularly on Sunday when a couple of those storms could be strong to low grade severe. We'll talk more about that in just a second, but I want to give you the general setup what we have going on out there. First of all, there is an area of high pressure that is now off the coast of the Carolinas and Georgia. This will kind of scoot down into the Gulf Coast here over the next day or so that will pump in warm, moist air into our region, increasing the humidity. Notice the cold front well to our north now traversing the Ohio Valley that also moves our way. So we're setting the stage for kind of an active weekend. Right now at the Dothan Airport, it is 92 degrees. We have an east southeast breeze at eight miles per hour. Humidity is at 40%. The dew point here is in the mid 60s, so it is kind of a fairly comfortable evening for us. Temperatures sitting in the upper 80s to low 90s for everybody. 87 degrees in Defuniac Springs, 93 right now in Geneva. Low 90s in Enterprise, low 90s in Ozark, 89 degrees in Abbeville. You follow one of the warmer spots sitting at 95. Here's the timeline for your Friday night plans. Notice temperatures, they hang out in the upper 80s for the next hour or two. Then we're in the 70s for most of the night. Tomorrow morning we start off with clear skies, temperatures in the mid 70s, and then it'll warm up pretty quickly thereafter. Looking at the hour by hour forecast for the weekend ahead. This is Saturday at two o'clock. The cold front begins to move in from the north still. It's going to be across parts of Tennessee, but there's enough forcing to get a couple of scattered showers or a thunderstorm going here especially during the evening hours. No severe weather expected with Saturday's activity, but some gusty winds and a stronger storm or two can't be ruled out. Sunday morning, we start off with cloud cover. If this cloud cover lingers into the afternoon, that would lower our severe weather risk. If we get sunshine earlier, those storms could be a little more feisty. So here's Sunday at two o'clock, that cold front beginning to approach. That'll set the stage for a line of storms to come through our area between about 4 and 8 p.m. Some of those storms could be severe with the primary concern being some gusty winds up to about 60 miles per hour and quarter size hail. You can see the northern half of the wire grass in the risk level two out of five for severe weather. The rest of us in a risk level one out of five. So in your extended forecast, you see that chance of thunderstorms on Saturday only at about 30% increases to 40% chance for those strong storms on Sunday afternoon. Then we'll dry out next week. Temperatures steady in the mid 90s overnight lows in the low 70s. This